everybody, it is me Alice and today I'm going to uh, get ready with me because today I'm going into town with my friend and then I'm going to sleep at her house as well and like I thought that I'd do my makeup like like to put on YouTube and I don't, I don't know why I was just really, like really bored so without further ado let's get on the video so the first product I'm using is the Revolution like eyebrow like eyebrow powders these are like like gels in a way but like this is amazing if you have blonde hair because it just makes your eyebrows look amazing. This is the mirror, I don't even know what I'm doing. But I'm not going to use this. I'm the, the brushes I like to use, wait a minute. The brushes uh, I like to use, it's a Primark brush. It's got a spoolie and like the eyebrow brush here. It's really good. And then I'll also use an eyeliner brush for like this part of my eyebrow. Because it makes them look really good. So yeah. So first thing I'm going to brush them out. And then like I'm just going to like fill them in. But this is a bit awkward because it doesn't really like uh, anywhere to put the mirror. Oh wait a minute. I don't know where it can go. It can go on here over my eyebrow hairs and then after that I use the eyeliner brush and I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna put it in this one here because this is what I love to use this is like it makes your eyebrows look amazing so I'm just gonna fill this in I'm gonna oh, this is a bit awkward but I'm just gonna do this oh <gasps> no help me this always happens on record literally every time I film a makeup tutorial it, I, I always smudge my eyebrows or something Eyebrows are the hardest part of makeup, I think, because like, you have to make them look as equal as possible. And remember, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So you have to keep that in mind because this might look like a slug and you might look like like the queen or something, I don't know. So after I have applied my fake ass eyebrows, I am aware this eyebrow looks like death and this one just looks like death as well. But basically, I, I will answer a few of your questions because a few of you have asked me some on my post. So I'm just going to answer a few of these and as well I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Primer which is my babe and it's kind of like primer brush which I've not used before but like I want to use it because they're meant to be really good these brushes. So yeah and I'm going to answer a few questions. Victoria's Secret opening in the Metro Centre. Yes I am so excited because there isn't a Victoria's Secret shop near me anywhere and it's actually really frustrating because like literally you have to either order online or you have to like order fake stuff which obviously fake stuff is bad sometimes so auntie can't wait to like to just go into the metro center in gateshead and just buy the whole shop even though it's, it's expensive but like i'll have to save up loads of money um but, but it'll be worth it because all their stuff is amazing and plus like i don't know it's just so good this, oh, this bro I'm, I'm not even this is the first time i've used this and i'm actually obsessed with this like brush guys if you don't have a primer brush buy one this is amazing and I've never used anything as good as this and in case you're wondering Revolution one which is amazing so I do recommend it and what's the time because I've, I've got to go soon okay it's almost half half ten I've, I have an hour to go it's all good it's all over my face all over my nose as well because you have to put primer on your nose because like literally if you are an oily person you will understand how annoying it is because like your foundation always comes off your nose because you know, your nose just gets oily and it's so annoying and like on your teeth so on and basically on your chin and everywhere really but this is really good and i love this so yeah so another person has asked who inspired you to start youtube and i, I don't know really because like I, I have i've got a lot of internet friends and literally they're all like please start youtube please start youtube and i was like okay then um floral princess is amazing and like i, I, I watch her vlogs all the time and like her videos and yeah so she is an inspiration i suppose but yeah my phone's just dropped as well but yeah like for, for floral princess i do love her and she kind of has inspired me a bit so, and then also the foundation i'm using the LA girl one i don't really have much product left in it hence why i'm i put it on my brush just because it creates more like it, it builds up the product easier um but it's a really high coverage one and as you can tell it doesn't really match but like i bought it in holland and i had a little bit of a tan so don't like start having a go at me because it doesn't match my my neck i know but i can always make it work i can always use like white powders and stuff but yeah it is a really good high coverage foundation though and i do love to use it because it, it, it's really dewy and glowy on your skin which is amazing for people with like oily skin i recommend it and it's from beauty bay for 11 pounds and I, I, I think i've used it in almost every makeup tutorial because it's really good drugstore foundation um but yeah i'm just gonna put blend this into my skin I haven't used it in ages because literally because like i'm in year 11 i've been stressed out with exams and everything well like well you know like i'm 
you know, I don't know how to explain it, but basically I've been like stressed out and I have my art mock in under a week now and I've had to finish everything in the book and honestly I've kind of been stressed in my life. So now I am using my Revolution Concealer in C1 because I am pale as anything. There's always cars beeping. As you can tell, I hate living on a busy road at times because sometimes the cars outside can beep and it'll wake me up or there's people having a fight and it just wakes me up or sometimes I'll be filming and every possible car on the road is beeping and it's just too many things. but anyway I'm going to use this concealer oh, where have I used all this stuff? I've only had it like a month anyway I'm just going to put this under my eyes because it's really good in highlighting because like because like the foundation is a little isn't really I mean yeah it'll be all right but I'm just going to use a, a concealer I've got a spot on here but actually my skin's been really good at the moment um so I'm loving life but I'm just going to put the concealer on just in case because I want to hide all, all the baby spots as well because we all get spots in our face and it's annoying as hell but this is life and we get stressed and this is life so yeah I don't even know what I'm saying. Beauty blender, this is the best thing I've ever used like uh, Primark beauty blenders are literally so good like the pure bouncy and they blend in your concealer really well. £2 for a pack of like four I think and honestly it's the best thing you'll ever buy. Someone asked, are, are you and your sister close? And yeah, we are. We we share the same clothes. Sometimes she wears my makeup, or her makeup, and like, yeah, and I love her because she's my sister and I wouldn't change her for the world. So, yeah, she's my little sister and I love her. <laughs> yeah, I'm using my collection press powder. I use a sponge to apply this because I use this bit and I put it like under my eyes everywhere just because I just, yeah, I find it easier. To apply it it's a really good powder and it's only two pounds from Superdrug, so i recommend it like and if you are quite like pale it's like really good because it's quite matte and like it's perfect shade as well as you can tell it's lovely there's a little kid screaming can you show up please ah! i just put it on my phone oh my god guys look at that i swear that this phone gets so messy sometimes and i actually don't like it it's so two pounds for a good powder which sets your makeup and powders your face as well at the same time is amazing like look at this guys this, this is contouring at its best ish i mean it's good, good powdering anyway palette this is really good and also i'm going to answer a few more questions one has asked what is your favorite song and i'll play it for you now i'm going to find it it is a jubilee and she's my favorite singer if, if, if you don't know um she's just amazing and she's just so pretty as well i'm sure we've all heard it because like i mean it is jubilee for it Right, I'm only going to play a snippet of it because I don't get a copyright strike because you know This is all it takes, falling in love with me Right, wait, wait, wait for the drop I love this song so much, it's just so upbeat and so funny Anyway, I'm going to use the middle shade on it, so I'm, I'm just going to play it I'm using the brush brush as well in case you're wondering mm. I, I can't sing, so please don't want me. Oh my god, you can't sing. I know, I know, guys. This is really good for pale skin, but like the medium shade are nice because it's warmer. Because I'm lost in the way you move, the way you feel. One kiss is all it takes. Fall in love with me. Guys, if you contact, if you contact, if it looks dark, just remember that you can both blend it out. Even if it is really unblendable. After this, I'm going to use this palette. This is the Golden Sugar Palette. And honestly, I've not used this in a while, but I'm sure that everyone has got this in their collection. So I'm just going to use this shade here. And it's just like a lovely, like, white kind of shade. And it's lovely highlighting. It's lovely, like, a glowy, lovely colour as well. And also, another person's asked me, would you like to be who when you're older? And personally, I'd love to be a makeup artist or photographer or something like that just because I find those jobs like really fun and interesting and like I just I just love them so yeah that's what I would love to be when I'm older shade is so gorgeous and highlighting I don't know if you can see that but like it's like proper glowing it's amazing like this is the perfect palette and like oh, look at that this is what I mean about this palette it's so gorgeous oh, glowing to the gods today but yeah love and light are you ready? Wait. Ugh. So this is the revolution one in case you're wondering, right? I'm gonna hold my breath. Three, two, one. There we go, makeup's all set. Hey. 
Also, another person asked me, have you heard Ariana Grande's new song? And yes, I have. And I'll play it for you now in case you haven't heard it. It is Naughty as Left to Cry. And it's amazing. This is so good song. This is when you do like orange smoky look today. I, I don't know the words. <laughs> but it's so good though. Pick it up. Come on, come on, pick it up. So anyway, I'm using my Morphe 35 Oil palette and I'm going to use like this shade I'm going to have like, today I'm going to aim for like orange kind of like smoky look Like I'm going to do like orange and I'm going to use like, like kind of like some like darker colours Just to kind of like smoke my eye up a little bit We'll blend it out, like I, I, I won't ever leave the house looking like this Because you know, I will get the stairs and I'll just get laughed at Also, someone else has asked me who is your favourite singer My favourite singer is Dua Lipa It used to be Rihanna Grande Arenators, I'm sorry if I have offended you, but but Jimmy Leaper is more like with my style really, and Jimmy Leaper is just like incredible anyway. Um, so yeah, I'd have to say Jimmy Leaper. I'm gonna blend it out with like a white eyeshadow, and the brush I like to use is my it's my Urban Decay na um, Naked Smoky brush. I'm just gonna blend this out. If you know this video, it's turning mine to a like makeup tutorial to be honest, but oh well, it's probably like a brown colour. I'm gonna just gonna put it like in the in a an outer of my eye. Hello, hello. Some sisters came to join me. Um, hi. Please Sorry. crop me out of the video. Not crop. Cut me out of the video. Oh well. Right. So, so now I'm going to use this shade here. It's like a glittery color, and it's my favorite color, like shade ever. As you can tell, I'm actually really happy with eyeshadow because sometimes eyeshadow isn't that good. But like today, I'm actually feeling it. The two guys, I have it under half an hour. So anyway, I'm going to use the NYX. Um, eyeliner. Basically, I, I wear like eyelashes because mascara can ir like irritate my eyes. So basically, I wear like eyelashes. So like, I need for eyeliner on for that. If you are pale like me, use this. This is a crunchable tan, and you, you can build it up to make your skin look glowing and really tanned and bronze. Because first thing, it doesn't smell of tan, so it won't like stink out the house and. It doesn't go streaky and the third thing it doesn't like leave a mark like bed sheets or anything and this is only two like three pounds from B&M bargains and honestly I have never tried anything as good as this like for tanning to see but trust me this is the best thing you'll ever use if you are quite pale like me so use it because you've got eyelashes these are amazing I'm gonna apply them like on my eyes in a minute apply eyelashes at times because honestly the glue can just like stick to your eyes straight away it's so annoying so my eyelashes are on now and then now I'm going to use my NYX lingerie lipstick in the shade exotic it's like a lovely red colour and I've not used it in ages so I can't wait to put it on because like it's such a beautiful colour and it's so nice as well Hashtag obsessed with this. As you can tell, love it. So here is the end of my video. Hope you enjoyed it and if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up in the comment down below. And please subscribe if you haven't already because I'm losing lots of subscribers at the moment. So yeah, but please do if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>